Okay, so today I will be showing you how to draw a person in a T-pose that you can use for 3D modeling or just for basic character design stuff. Pretty much what a T-pose is, is having your arms straight out and your legs in a spread position. Um, so you'll start off by sketching out basic like body shape of the person in the pose, and then you go in and you can add a little bit more detail to them, so like more length in the arms or thicker legs, that sort of thing. Um. After you do that, you want to have some sort of rulers to separate the different sections of the body. I have it in four different sections. Um, everyone does it a little bit differently. I have it set up so that the head is one section, the arms and torso is the next section, uh, the one after that is the upper leg, and the next one is the lower leg and feet. So. After you finish, um, you know, separating them all out, you don't have to label it. Um, you want to start sketching out the next half of the person. So you start with like basically trying to get um, what you think is a similar shape in. Um, and the fact that I'm doing it in Photoshop makes it easier for me to adjust this later on. Um, and if you're drawing it on paper, you can uh, do the same thing with an eraser and just, you know, erasing and then redrawing it. So, like, in this case, um, noticed that the head was a little bit too small and a little off place, so I went and adjusted that. Um, I fixed up the, you know, the legs and everything else, so I zoomed in. So you can see it a little bit better. Um, that's the placement for the T-pose. And, you know, after you sketch everything out, you might want to add a little bit more detail to it. Um, since this is just a basic idea of how to do this, I'm not going into extreme detail. I'm um, just giving you a slight idea of what's going on. Also, if you have snaps on and you are using rulers in Photoshop, it would be a good idea to turn them off so that you don't run into an issue of um, the rulings messing up your uh, lines. Also, since you are probably going to make tweaks in um, 3D modeling, if you are making it into a model, you don't have to be too exact with how you want things because they probably will change later on as you are creating it. So, uh, It's good to have an idea of what you want for your drawing. In this case, I kind of just went off of just drawing it from my head. I didn't use any references, but normally if you wanted to make it look really good, you should probably use some references um, for, you know, what human legs look like or what hands look like, um, how clothing falls, that sort of thing. Um, 
so just to give you like an idea of what you should be doing um and i mean like i said before you don't have to go into detail so like if i wanted this guy to have hairy legs as a model i would put that in in 3ds max i don't necessarily have to draw the hair in Um, so now I'm moving on to the other side, where I'm now drawing in what I want the rest of him to look like, using what I already sketched in as a reference. Um, this is the point in time where I'm probably going to scale up this little drawing to make it fit better with what the T-pose is for it. Um, another thing that you should do is exclude the arms from the um, side pose, because they'll just uh, be in the way. Um, two ways of going about this is that you could draw a circle where the arm would be located or just uh, completely excluding it. Um, so. After that, uh, this, um, you clean up what you need to do, you rescale anything you need to rescale, um, Um, you do any minor tweaks that you need to make, also like uh, making lines thicker or something if they look too thin to you. Um, like right now, I'm just going over both of them to make sure like the pant legs, uh, the pant length and the shirt length are um, equal to each other and on that line. Uh, I'm putting a little bit more detail in the feet for like sandals or something. Um, so yeah. You want to go in and uh, hide your sketch layers, and this is going to be the point in time where you're going to start to cut up your image and save it as two different files. Um, so, like uh, this one is going to be the main T pose. So when you're exporting it into like 3ds Max, for example, you'd put it on two separate planes. You'll have one for the back so that way you know what the front of the model looks like and then you have one for the side if your model has a lot of detail for the back of it you'd add an extra t-pose of what the behind of part of them looks like um, so pretty much you could do a full like four-sided sort of uh, model like idea sort of thing um, for it um, however in this case I just have a two-sided one so the person facing forward and the person facing left uh so that is pretty much basically what you would need to know about doing it um i would recommend using plenty of references if you're unsure of how a person looks um profile-wise or front-on-wise, um, or if they have certain details that you might not be completely sure how to draw. Uh, so, I mean, go ahead and try doing it now.